What is going on mobile creators and welcome back to another exciting video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic travel vlog with your iPhone. Now if you're someone who likes to travel a lot and capture those moments then having a simple setup like I'm having right now with the iPhone 13 Pro Max just allows you to capture moments more easily without the hassle of having to carry a heavy camera bag with you. It just takes up a lot of energy and you can't really enjoy the moment while i'm doing this travel vlog with you guys i thought about giving you some useful tips on how you can create your own cinematic vlog for yourself that you can apply if you know how to use your camera's full potential you can create some great looking results with it so with that said welcome to croatia What's going on mobile creators? Bennett Grazer here with SmartphoneFilmmaking.com, the best online course where I teach you everything I know on how to produce professional and cinematic videos with your smartphone. And like I mentioned before, I'm here in Croatia with my girlfriend. We're actually doing a road trip, visiting different cities. And so far it has been really great. And I thought I would share my journey with you guys and show you how I create those cinematic travel vlogs. And it really doesn't have to be difficult. Most smartphones nowadays can produce high quality quality video with the right know-how and practice, you can get great results out of your smartphone. So the first tip I have for you guys when it comes to creating your travel vlogs is to avoid overpacking. The less gear you have with you, the more enjoyable your trip will be and the more creative you can be when it comes to creating your shots. The only thing I bring with me is really this sling bag over here that I pack all of my gear in it. And currently I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max with the Rode Video Micro and a Gorillapod. So what I suggest you do is try to challenge yourself to bring less gear with you. Just because you don't have the gear, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't create the shots. Try to think outside of the box on how you can create that shot. By the way, if you're interested in the gear I'm using, I will mention them in the video description below. So if you're wondering where I am currently, I'm at some kind of abandoned place here in Croatia. And what fascinates me about those abandoned places is that it's super scary, man. It freaks me out. Look at this. There's nobody here. It's creepy, but I love it. So we are currently in Zadar. It's a beautiful place. We just had some delicious ice cream. And the next tip I have for you guys is to be strategic with your shots. A lot of beginner mobile creators tend to just shoot everything they see. Really focus on a couple of shots and try to make those shots look as interesting as possible. This way you won't be overwhelmed in the edit having to search through thousands of clips and will make the editing process much easier. So my advice to you is to shoot more than necessary but be strategic about it. Especially when you're traveling with friends, it's just more enjoyable if you take out your phone when necessary to capture those shots. Otherwise, you will miss the moment if you constantly, you know, film everything around you, right? So just keep that in mind. So as for my fourth tip is to go with the flow, like seen over here. You don't want to head back to a particular place again just to record a couple of additional clips because you think that the shots you've took aren't good enough. Rather enjoy yourself and record just those moments that you can capture because as mobile creators, we get stressed out, especially when we're starting out to just capture as much as possible and always thinking that our videos is not good enough. Your video doesn't have to be perfect. You probably know the saying, better done than perfect. Just start making your videos, do mistakes, and then learn from them as you keep developing your skills. super hot. I think I'm going to go to the other side and find some shade. 
So whenever I can, I always try to add a B-roll to my video to keep the viewer's attention and to make the video just more interesting in general. Especially when doing travel vlogs, you don't only want to have a roll in your video, which is usually the talking head part like you're seeing right now. You want to support your story by having additional footage to help the viewers visualize what you're talking about. And it's always a good idea to think about what you said in your A roll so that you can capture those clips needed to tell a better story. Now, when it comes to capturing B roll, I use the rear camera and record everything in 4K 60 frames per second. And whenever I do my A roll, I use the selfie camera and record everything in 4K 25 frames per second, as I don't plan on slowing down the footage. And the reason why I like to use the selfie camera is because I can live monitor myself and see what I'm recording. So speaking of b-roll, my next tip is to shoot your b-roll in 60 frames per second. Especially if you're someone who shoots without a gimbal and uh, goes handheld, 60 frames per second really helps stabilize your footage. Being able to shoot in 60 frames per second and slowing it down allows us to focus our attention on a specific detail like a bird flapping their wings. And you don't only have to shoot in 60 frames per second, you can even go up to 120 or 240 frames per second now with the iPhone 13 Pro Max but you are limited with 1080p but you can create a much more dramatic effect in your video. So depending what you're shooting, you can really take advantage of the higher frame rate and use it more creatively. Wow, look at this view. So this is our last day here in Croatia. We're at the capital city which is Zagreb. And the last tip I have for you guys when it comes to creating your travel vlogs is to simply add some speed ramp to your video. Not only does it look cool, but it also helps connect two clips together. And the way how a speed ramp works is you actually slow down the footage first and then speed it up and then slow it back down again. And what I usually do is in Final Cut Pro, I use the automatic speed that slows it down and then somewhere at the end, I then speed it up and then do the same thing at the beginning of the second clip where I speed up the clip as well and then gradually slow it down to create a speed ramp. Now, if you're serious about producing high quality videos with your smartphone, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com where I show you everything I know on how to produce cinematic and professional looking videos with your smartphone. Also, make sure to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide, which will help you get started making quality videos on your phone. So with that said, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day here in Zagreb. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate all of you and take care.